Hello and welcome back to my generic form which I created in a previous video and I'm going to use this form over and over again to demonstrate what I would call some of the more basic numeric functions when you're just starting out. First one I'm going to talk about, subject of this video, is the int function. Int function is easy to implement but for those just starting out you might get some unexpected results. So I'm going to double click on this button here and you can see I've got some completely invalid things. I've got half of a statement here. In other words, I've got this text output and I want to put something in there and I'm going to put the int function in there. Now the int function uh, expects a numeric value such as 10.7 right? or right, 8.8. .8. It doesn't matter. It expects an, uh, a, a numeric value. I've got this little issue right here. This issue is because I don't have C string or in other words, I do have options strict on, which was a previous video. So at this point, you should know how to create a basic form. You should know how to turn option strict on. Uh, at this point, I can see what's going to happen in that text box. So let's see what, what this function does. Int. 8, right? That's probably not what you would expect. Because how often in mathematics do we round down from a point 0.8? Well, well, and what's it doing, right? So I'll do like 8.2 and let's test this thing out and see how it runs. And you'll see I get 8. Well, but now at this point I can tell you what the int function does. It's a truncating function. So truncate is another word for find the decimal point and just get rid of everything afterwards. Uh, many programming languages handle implicit conversions like this, so it's it's pretty relevant. But it's one of those things that could hang people up because if you're just starting out, you might see that. And you might assume that it rounds to the nearest integer, but it doesn't. It always rounds down. And also know that there's nothing strange about this, right? 8.0. Sometimes people might guess it would do like 7. It doesn't. It just, essentially what it does is it looks for the decimal point and just chops off the uh, entire right-hand side of whatever's going on there. So that's the int function. Not to be confused with math.round which I will do in my next video. Thanks for watching.